Hello everyone, my name is Rick Malava. My nickname in the forums is CTB Ram for SimplyMaya.com with a solution to a question that one of the users recently asked. Uh, he wanted to create this shape in the image plane back here, the black shape with the pink stripes, uh, using a CV curve network and the by rail tool. Now, he was a little bit confused because he was trying to use three rail tools and or three rails in this model. There's a total of six lines in this curve network, uh, and he was hoping to use uh, three profile curves and three rail curves and of course you can't do that with by rail because by rail implies two rails by sickle is two wheels by plane is two wings by rail is two rails so my initial answer to the user was you can't do this with by rail because you're trying to use three rail curves which was correct but not a hundred percent correct because there is a way to do this using the by rail tool you just have to use it twice so I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, initially my answer was uh, you could produce the shape using a planer uh, by taking the curve network and using the uh, surfaces planer tool or you could simply draw it out as a poly polygonal shape as I've done here and then when you smooth it you get a nice uh, surface that matches what he's going for that has all quads in it and I just started out with an equilateral triangle here and then I just drew in this to topology uh, to create this as a polygonal surface directly rather than starting with a nerve surface and converting to polygons so uh, that being said let's go into uh, let's go into Maya here and I can show you how to do this a couple of ways. First, here's our curve network. And to build this, I just started with uh, EP curves. If I go to the vertices here and I move this back out, you can see if I did that with all three of these edges, I'd have sort of a, a chunk of an equilateral triangle. And I just did that. I started out with an equilateral triangle and I just clipped it off at the corners and then pulled these edges in to create uh, the shape that the user has. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the first method here. To take these NURBS curves and create a polygonal surface that matches this. Uh, you can select all of these curves and then use uh, from the surfaces menu go to planar. And we'll pick the planar options here and I can create a NURBS surface. I can create a, a polygon surface. And so let's create a polygon surface because that's actually where he wants to get to. and uh, for the resulting surface I want to produce quads and I'm going to use the general tessellation method which allows me to select the number of uh, edges I want to have both vertically and horizontally. Now it's going to do this orthogonally. It's going to dice this thing up and that's why it actually produces some pretty bad geometry uh, because we're not going to be following the flow of the surface very well but we will produce a surface that matches it. So uh, I'm going to just start out with the default of 3 and 3 and show you what you get here when I apply it and you get a really horrendous looking mess of goofy end guns and triangles and the reason for that is with only three edges running vertically and three edges running horizontally it can't dice this thing up properly so it goes crazy and tries to uh, tessellate it so that it can match the uh, match the uh, uh, edges especially along these curved edges here so that's no problem because after I create it I can go into its uh, its uh, uh, planar node and I can go into where I selected the number of spans in U and V and I can just increase that to something that's more sane. So let's say 9 in U and then I'll scrub this up in V say 10 and now we get a nice even distribution of polygons and our shape if I turn that off matches what we were going for pretty nicely. I can pick up a little bit of tessellation here but I can actually smooth the surface and it holds its shape pretty well uh, also. You're still picking up a little tessellation but that's because the curve network is there. If I hide that, there you go. Now you can see it's nice and smooth along the edges and uh, we are matching the topology. We don't have any end guns but we do have uh, at least uh, it looks to me like eight triangles in here and you could probably massage those out of this meth mesh but it it is fairly high uh, fairly dense uh, and it's not really optimal for this shape so let's delete this uh, let's delete that surface and bring our curve network back 
and let's see how we can do this using the by rail tool okay so uh, before I show you how we create it doing two by rails let's look at the by rail options there are um, under surfaces by rail there are three types of by rail by rail one is uh, has one profile curve and two rail curves by rail 2 will have two profile curves and two rail curves and by rail 3 plus will have uh, any number of profile curves uh, and two rail curves so for this solution what I want to do is uh, let's show you what by rail 1 does if I don't have any starting with nothing selected by rail is one of those tools that you select first and then select your edges so we'll go to by rail 1 and in by rail 1 we're gonna pick one profile curve and then two rail curves and if you look down here uh, in the output window it actually gives you the instructions on what it wants to see I'll delete that and reapply that tool and you see now it's asking me for I'm going a by rail one and it wants one profile curve and once I select that it'll say now select two rail curves and once again if I pick the two rail curves we create a surface which basically takes this edge and sweeps it along these two rails to produce this surface and I started out straight here so I'm going to finish straight down here now I'm trying to produce a surface that actually has a nice topology so I'd really like to mimic this curvature down at the end here so to do that I'm going to use the by rail 2 and for that I need two profile curves well here's the first one I need a profile curve where I want to end down here so using the create EP curve tool or edit curve point tool I'm going to verify that I'm produce, uh, creating a cubic uh, curve holding the C key down and dragging along this curve I'm going to place a point there and I'm going to place another CV over here and if I hit return I produce a line that goes across now the nice, that's the nice thing about the EP curve tool is I can produce a line with just two points uh, if I was to do this with CV curve you have to have a minimum of four points before the line begins to appear so uh, EP curve is perfect for this but we have the same problem the line is straight at the bottom here so if I go to curve uh, and select its control vertices you see there's four CVs which is the minimum number of CVs you need for a uh, NURBS curve and then I can just take those two inner CVs and push them up until I match the curvature of this line down here so now I have two profile curves whoops that's one thing these curves all have to be touching in order for by rail to work so when I pulled that off those edges that would have broken the surface so uh, but I have one profile curve two profile curves and two rail curves so now we'll go down here and do uh, under surfaces we'll pick by rail again but this time we'll pick by rail 2 and um, uh, I have an option set that's causing it always to launch this option box so don't be concerned if you don't get the option box for yours uh, but I do want to produce a nerve surface the default is a nerve surface I'm gonna produce this as a nerve I'm gonna rebuild it and then I'm gonna convert it to polygons it's easier than trying to explain all of the options you get when you try to go to a polygon directly it's not too complicated um, I want to obviously produce quads I'm going to use general tessellation because that's going to allow me to specify how many uh, edges I want in U and V or or you know X and Y and uh, and then I can produce the the polygon you can also produce sub D's or a Bezier network uh, so uh, let's just do NURBS to start and maybe we'll do this bottom one directly to polygons so you can see both methods so starting out with a NURBS surface nothing is selected I'm going to do a by rail 2 I'm going to hit apply and down in the instructions it's going to tell me select two profile curves so I'm going to pick one and two and now it says pick two rail curves so I'll pick one and two and there we've produced a NURBS surface and it's a uh, if I bring up its attributes here have to select it first you can see it's got one span in U and one span in V that's why you don't see any isoparms in here but um, if I was to show the CVs you can see or better yet if I showed its hulls you can see that it's got quite a few hulls in this to, to produce this shape even though it's only got one isoparm in U and V uh, that's what we produce so turning that off so now um, let's convert this into polygons okay so we're gonna go to modify 
convert NURBS to polygons and I'm going to uh, produce this thing using uh, of course quads is what I want to generate I'm going to use general tessellation because that allows me to specify the number of edges I want in U and V. Now the way this works is if I wanted to make this a 4x4 four four surface you have to have 5 edges to get 4 uh, uh, four polygons. So you need one more edge than the number of polygons that you want to produce in this U and V value here. So I want 4x4 four four, so that means I need to put 5x5 five five in here and if I hit apply there you go. We get a nice 4x4 four four polygonal surface uh, in here for this top part. Now let's produce the bottom one. I'm going to take this surface for now and hide it. And I'm going to keep the NURB surface here because we're going to pick this trim edge uh, when we uh, when we produce the uh, surface down here, we're going to pick the trim edge of this surface and then this CV or this, uh, this uh, NURBS curve down here for our profile curves. And then of course these two will be our rail curves. So, uh, uh, and I, I want to do this because I want to point out when you already have a surface built and you select or you drag select over this, even though there's a curve here and the surface, it will prefer the uh, the trim edge of this surface over the uh, edit curve because it's assuming that you're going to want to have the two surfaces butt up together and so uh, to keep parameterization and other things uh, as nice as possible it it uh, it prefers the surface over the over a uh, over an edit curve so uh, let's make our uh, Let's make our surface for down here. So, but this time we're going to generate it as a polygon to start with, rather than converting it. So I'm going to go to um, uh, starting with nothing selected. I'm going to go to surfaces by rail two, and we're going to pick options this time. And instead of a nerve, I'm going to create a polygon, okay, a polygonal surface. And then uh, I want to produce a quad surface. I'm going to use the general tessellation method and just like we did when we converted NURBS to polygons I want uh, let's say two rows of polygons and four polygons in each column so I'm gonna want uh, to make this uh, three and this five so one more than the number of polygons we want to get three by five equals two by four so I'll hit apply and then it says down here select your two profile curves so I select this curve up here and it's highlighted in yellow this time and to indicate that I'm selecting the trim edge of this surface not that curve that was down there and then I'm picking this curve down here which is in green to indicate I'm picking a profile curve and then my two rail curves and we create a polygon directly okay so I can close this. Now I have this NURB surface which I'm going to hide. I'm going to bring back our polygonal surface that we created uh, f using the uh, NURBS to polygon conversion. And now you can see I've got two, a 4x4 four four and a 4x2 and a polygonal surface. So I can pick these two surfaces now and I'm going to delete their history and combine them. And then I'm going to take all the vertices along this edge and I'm going to merge them. So I'm going to go up here, merge vertices, and we now have one polygonal surface. Now this is not smooth, so you're going to get faceting along this edge, and there's two ways we could fix that. We could put more, uh, we could have chosen to, to increase the number of polygons in U and V when we created the surface, but once again we'd create a very dense surface uh, if we did that. Uh, another way that we can do this is we can smooth it, but you'll see there's a problem if we smooth it. Now we get smooth edges along here and here, but because we don't have enough control edges along this edge to hold this corner, it rounds out on us. Now there's a way to fix that. We can just come in here and select this edge, and then what we'll do is an offset edge loop, and I'll just put two edges very close to that edge. And now if I drop that tool, go back to object mode and pick that polygonal surface and smooth it, you can see I hold these corners nicely now. And we've got a fairly nice, much cleaner geometry here. Uh, and it's not very heavy at all. So if I came in here and uh, went to object mode and hit all of those curves, 
including this one I'll add to my curve network up here and then just hide all the curves you can see that that's a nice clean surface and we built it using the Byreal 2 surfacing tool in Maya. Once again this has been CTB RAM for simplymaya.com thanks for listening and I hope you found this helpful.